What's up dudes and dudettes, and welcome to Fire Emblem. So, I have been... I've only heard of Fire Emblem uh, back when I first got Smash Bros. And I started playing as some of the Smash Bros. characters, or some of the Fire Emblem characters. And, uh... I've... They, they look really cool, and I've just wanted to play a, a game. And, uh... I found one really cheap on the, uh... On the e-store, so... I'm gonna be playing it now. And it looks really good. This is what, 2004, 2005? So. Let's, uh, let's get into it. I am really looking forward to it. Easy, normal, or hard. I would choose normal, but I have never played this before. <laughs> so I'm gonna get into it. All right, we're at the, pro the prologue. Ah, I can't speak. In an age long past, evil flooded over the land. Creatures awash in the dark and rim wild. Oh snap! Sun about the brink of annihilation. In its despair, mankind appealed to the heavens, and from a blinding light came hope. The sacred stones. This looks really good. These five glorious treasures held the power to dispel evil. Those sound pretty good. The hero Grado and his warriors used the sacred stones to combat evil's darkness. They defeated the demon king and sealed away his powers. Oh snap. With the darkness in prison, peace returned to Mag Magville. I guess that's how you say it. But this peace would not last. That doesn't sound good. I, I, I hate it when peace doesn't last. It's, n it's never fun. The continent of Magville. For some 800 years, a quiet peace reigned in the absence of ter the, the terrible darkness. Man, I cannot speak. <laughs> the sacred stones have been passed from generation to generation. Nations have been built around their power and their legacy. Oh, and the legacy. <laughs> That's the end of the sentence. The kingdom of Reneus, ruled by Fado. The Peerless Warrior King. The Kingdom of Fralia, ruled by Hayden, the Venerable Sage King. He looks old. Just kidding. Kingdom of Gehenna, ruled by Ismeri, the Queen of the White Goons. Theocracy of Rauston, ruled by Manson, M M Mansell, a divine emperor. What is my problem with names? <laughs> the Grado Empire, ruled by Vigard, the stalwart silent emperor. He looks cool, actually. These five countries house the power of the sacred stones. Convenient. They are joined by the emerging mercantile republic of Carcino. In these times of peace, tales of past conflict have drifted into legend, and memories of the ancient dark arts have all but evaporated. It is now the year 803. In an instant, the whole of Magvel is threatened by an unexpected atrocity. Uh-oh. 
the Grotto Empire, the largest of the sacred stone nations, has invaded the kingdom of Rennes under orders from Emperor Vigard. Oh snap, what, what you doing, Vigard? What are you doing? A long time ago, an ally of Grado, Rhaenys, is caught off guard, unable to mount any resistance. Grado's forces move quickly, seizing one territory after another. Why, why would you do that? That's a jerk move, bro. Compounding King Fado's worries, his son, and Prince Ephraim, has gone missing. Grado's momentum carries its armies to the gates of Castle Rhaenys itself. Rhaenys. Rhaenys will fall. It is inevitable. Crap, dude. That's not good. Prologue the fall of Rhaenys. Your Majesty, I bear bad news. The castle gate has been breached. Oh, crap. <laughs> Emperor Vigard's forces are within the castle walls. <laughs> wow. I understand. The garrison has fallen. We've lost contact with Prince Ephraim and can expect no aid from his men. Your Majesty, what are we to do? What else can we do? Order your men to lay down their arms. Ah, oh, snap, they're surrendering. Father. Erica. Are you wearing the bracelet I gave you? Yes, I have it right here. Good. <laughs> Good. Seth. Yes, your majesty. Take Erica and head for Freelia. King Hayden is an honorable man. I trust he will keep you safe. Understood. And what of your majesty? Me? I shall remain here. Oh, snap! Long held Grado among our dearest allies, yet now they attack? I must know why. I'm somehow, am I somehow responsible for this? Have I erred in my leadership? I mean, I doubt it, but maybe. <laughs> Renaeus is mine to guide. How could I have failed her so? Father, you can't stay, you mustn't. Yet, yeah, dude, that's like a, kind of like a death wish. If you remain behind, then so shall I. Go now, Seth, ride. Take her to safety. Father! And they're just, they're gone. Forgive me, your highness. And here come Grotto's forces. A lot of reading. I like it, but not a lot of gameplay so far. Ephraim, Erica, you must survive. Well, his children are, well, one of his children is safe. <laughs> More reading. General Seth. Friends, ride ahead and bring word of our coming to Fralia. A single rider has better odds of passing unseen by Grado's men. Convey to the throne all that has happened here, and petition for reinforcements. Uh, understood. Run, dude. Alright. <laughs> Princess Erica, we must... Quickly, behind me! Oh, dudes? Oh, snap! Guys on dragons, it looks like? You there with the girl. Tell me. Would that be the wayward princess of Rain... Rainus? Sorry, I can't speak. Well, this must be my lucky day. 
You're a dead man. The wench goes with me. How dare you, sir? Never! It's gonna take him out. I am Volta, the Moonstone, Grotto's finest general. And you're just a corpse who does not know he is dead. Oh, snap. Uh-oh. I don't know what I'm doing. Can I do anything? Ugh. No. Run, Seth! Such terrible wounds. And still he holds to his duty. How entertaining. Fly away, little man. Fly away. Try to outrun death. Well... This story is really intriguing, and I haven't gotten to any gameplay yet. But I am out of time for this episode, so I will pick this up in the next video. Uh, hope you guys have enjoyed. If you liked it, hit that like button down below or leave me a comment. And I will see you dudes and dudettes in the next video. But until then, Ezekiel out.